Lesson 1, The Art of Feedback Hey Anna, I submitted my project yesterday. Oh, good morning. What did you think about it? I felt pretty good, but I'm nervous about the feedback. How do you usually handle feedback on your work? I try to view it as a chance to improve rather than criticism. It helps me stay positive. Do you find it easy to accept feedback? Sometimes, but I often take it personally. I need to work on separating my feelings from the critique. What helps you stay objective? I remind myself that everyone has room for improvement. It's part of the learning process. Have you ever received feedback that really helped you? Yes, once my manager pointed out my writing style needed clarity. I took that to heart and improved my skills. What about you? A mentor once advised me to focus on structure in my presentations. It made a huge difference. Do you think specific feedback is more helpful than general comments? Absolutely. Specific suggestions give me clear actions to take. What kind of feedback do you find most useful? I appreciate constructive feedback that includes both strengths and areas for improvement. It feels balanced. How do you usually ask for feedback? I ask specific questions to guide the feedback, like what part was unclear? It helps focus the response. Do you have a strategy for giving feedback to others? I always start with something positive before offering suggestions. It creates a more supportive environment. Have you ever had a difficult conversation about feedback? Yes, it was challenging to tell a friend their presentation needed work. I was worried about hurting their feelings. How do you approach tough conversations? I try to be honest but gentle. It's important to communicate clearly while being empathetic. Do you think feedback is essential for personal growth? Definitely. It's a key part of learning and improving. Lesson 2, Fitness Journeys Hey Anna, I've been exploring different exercise routines lately. That sounds interesting. What kinds of exercises have you tried? I've experimented with yoga, strength training, and even some dance workouts. Same here. What do you enjoy most? I really love yoga. It helps me relax and improves my flexibility. Have you found any routines that you particularly like? I enjoy strength training. It's empowering to see progress in my strength. What about dance workouts? They're so much fun. It feels like a party while exercising. Have you tried any specific dance styles? I tried Zumba once, and it was a blast. I didn't realize how much cardio I was getting. What's your favorite aspect of Zumba? The upbeat music. It keeps me motivated and energized. Do you usually exercise alone or with friends? I prefer working out with friends, it makes it more enjoyable. What about you? Same here. Having a workout buddy keeps me accountable. Do you have a regular workout schedule? 
I try to stick to three or four times a week. It helps maintain consistency. How often do you work out? I aim for at least five times a week, mixing cardio and strength training. How do you stay motivated on tough days? I remind myself of my goals and the benefits of exercising. What's your go-to strategy? I like to set mini goals and reward myself when I achieve them. It adds a fun element. Have you ever faced any challenges in your fitness journey? Yes, I struggled with maintaining a routine during busy times. How did you overcome challenges? I learned to be flexible and adjust my workouts based on my schedule. It's all about finding what works. What's one piece of advice you'd give to someone starting their fitness journey? Start small and find activities you enjoy. It's easier to stick with it that way. What would you suggest? Lesson 3. Cooking Adventures Hey Anna, I'm planning to make a new recipe with eggs, peanuts, and lime. That sounds easy enough. Do we need any special ingredients? Just those three, plus some spices. I think it'll create a nice flavor combination. Have you ever cooked with lime? Yes. I love how it adds a zesty kick to dishes. What do you like most about cooking with fresh ingredients? Fresh ingredients make a huge difference in taste. Plus, they're healthier. What's your favorite fresh ingredient to cook with? I really enjoy cooking with herbs, especially basil. It adds so much aroma and flavor. Have you tried using fresh herbs in your recipes? Absolutely. I've used cilantro and salsa, and it really brightens the dish. Are there any herbs you want to experiment with? I'd like to try rosemary. I've heard it pairs well with roasted vegetables. What's a dish you'd recommend for someone new to cooking? A stir-fry is great. It's quick and you can customize it with any veggies and proteins. Do you have a go-to dish? I love making pasta with a simple tomato sauce. It's easy and always delicious. How do you usually decide what to cook? I usually check what ingredients I have and then search for recipes that use them. It's fun to be creative. What's your strategy? I like to plan my meals for the week. It saves time and helps me eat healthier. Have you ever meal prepped? Yes, I've tried it. It's handy to have ready meals, especially during busy weeks. What do you like to prepare in advance? I often cook grains like quinoa or rice and roast veggies. They're easy to mix and match throughout the week. Have you thought about trying new cuisines? Definitely. I've been curious about Thai cuisine lately. The flavors seem vibrant. What cuisine do you enjoy most? I love Mediterranean food. The fresh ingredients and bold flavors are amazing. Do you think you'll try cooking Thai dishes soon? I hope to. I'd love to explore making curries and spring rolls. It sounds like a fun challenge.
What's one dish you'd like to learn to cook? Lesson 4. Exploring Career Options Hey Anna, I've been thinking about future career options lately. The possibilities are endless. That's exciting. What kinds of jobs have you considered? I've thought about being an architect, but I'm also intrigued by more hands-on jobs like being a bricklayer. What about you? I've considered creative fields like graphic design, but I'm also interested in teaching. Do you think creative jobs are more fulfilling? They can be. But I think fulfillment really depends on personal passion. What makes you drawn to teaching? I love sharing knowledge and helping others grow. It's rewarding to see students succeed. Have you ever thought about what makes a job fulfilling? Yes, I think it's important to enjoy what you do and feel like you're making a difference. What skills do you think are essential for teaching? Patience and communication are key. It's also important to be adaptable to different learning styles. What skills do you think are vital for an architect? Creativity and attention to detail are crucial. Architects need to visualize spaces effectively. Do you think you'd enjoy working in a team or prefer solo work? I enjoy teamwork. Collaborating with others can lead to amazing ideas. How do you feel about group projects? I like them too, as long as everyone contributes equally. It can be frustrating when some don't pull their weight. Have you had any challenging group experiences? Yes, I once worked with someone who didn't communicate well. It made the project tough. How do you usually handle conflicts in group settings? I try to address issues directly and calmly. Open communication helps resolve misunderstandings. Do you think internships are valuable for exploring career options? Absolutely. They provide hands-on experience and a taste of the work environment. Have you considered doing an internship? Yes, I'd love to intern in architecture to see if it's a good fit for me. What about you? I'm looking into internships in education. It would give me a better idea of what teaching is really like. What's one thing you hope to learn from an internship? I'd like to understand the daily responsibilities and challenges architects face. It would help me make an informed decision. Lesson 5. Healthy Eating Habits Hey Anna, I've been trying to reduce sugar and processed foods in my diet. That's a great goal. Are you tracking your progress? Yes, I started using an app to log my meals. It really helps me stay accountable. What about you? I've been doing something similar, but I prefer a food journal. Writing it down feels more personal. Do you find the app easy to use? It is. I love how it gives me insights about my nutrition. Have you noticed any changes since you started eating healthier? Definitely. I have more energy and feel less sluggish. It's amazing how food affects our mood and energy levels. What changes have you noticed? 
I've also felt more energetic and less bloated. It's encouraging. Do you have any favorite healthy recipes? Yes, I love making quinoa salads with lots of veggies. It's refreshing and filling. What's a recipe you enjoy? I've been making smoothies with spinach, banana, and almond milk. They're delicious and quick. Have you tried any new foods recently? I just tried chickpea pasta, and it was surprisingly good. It's a great alternative to regular pasta. Have you explored any alternative ingredients? I've started using cauliflower rice instead of regular rice. It's lower in carbs and very versatile. Do you think it's hard to stick to healthy eating? It can be challenging, especially when you're busy or tempted by unhealthy snacks. How do you handle cravings? I try to keep healthy snacks on hand, like nuts or fruit. They help curb my cravings. What strategies work for you? I allow myself a small treat now and then. It helps me avoid feeling deprived. Have you set any specific goals for your healthy eating journey? I aim to cook at home more often and try new recipes each week. It keeps things exciting. What's a goal you have? I want to incorporate more plant-based meals into my diet. I think it'll be beneficial for my health. How do you plan to celebrate your progress? I might treat myself to a nice meal at a healthy restaurant. It's a good way to reward myself. What about you? Lesson 6. Preparing for Interviews Hey Anna, I've been brainstorming and rehearsing for my upcoming job interview. That's great. What kind of questions are you preparing for? I'm focusing on common questions, but I know they might ask unexpected ones too. How do you prepare for those? I try to think creatively. Sometimes, they ask about your strengths and weaknesses in surprising ways. Do you have a strategy for handling tricky questions? I practice staying calm and taking a moment to think before I respond. It helps me articulate my thoughts better. What about you? I like to use the STAR method for behavioral questions. It stands for situation, task, action, and result. Have you heard of it? Yes, it's a solid approach. It helps structure your answers clearly. What's an example of a question you'd use it for? A question like, tell me about a time you overcame a challenge. It's perfect for showcasing problem-solving skills. Have you faced any challenges in your past jobs? I once had to meet a tight deadline while managing a team. It taught me a lot about prioritization. What's a challenge you've overcome? I had to coordinate a big event with limited resources. I learned how to be resourceful and think on my feet. Do you think cultural fit is important in an interview? Absolutely. It's crucial to find a workplace where you feel comfortable and aligned with the values. How do you assess if a company is a good fit? I research their culture online and ask about it during the interview. It gives me a clearer picture. What kind of company culture do you prefer? 
I like a collaborative and innovative environment where ideas are shared openly. It fosters creativity. What's your ideal work atmosphere? I prefer a supportive and inclusive culture. It makes teamwork more enjoyable and productive. Have you practiced any specific skills for your interview? Yes, I've been working on my communication skills and body language. They're important for making a good impression. What else do you think is crucial for success in interviews? Confidence is key. It shows the interviewer you believe in your abilities. How do you boost your confidence before an interview? I remind myself of my accomplishments and visualize success. It helps me feel prepared and ready to shine. Lesson 7, Discovering History Hey Anna, I just read about a fascinating historical figure named Castillo, who was born in a small town in France during the year 1822. That sounds intriguing. What made Castillo stand out in history? He was an influential artist and thinker. His work had a significant impact on the art movement of that time. Have you heard about him before? No, I haven't. What kind of art did he create? He focused on Impressionism, capturing light and color in unique ways. Do you enjoy Impressionist art? Yes, I love the vibrant colors and the emotions they evoke. Do you have a favorite Impressionist artist? Monet is definitely one of my favorites. His Water Lilies series is breathtaking. What about you? I admire Degas for his ballet paintings. They capture movement beautifully. How do you think Castillo's background influenced his work? Growing up in a small town likely gave him a unique perspective on life and nature. Do you think artists are shaped by their environments? Absolutely. An artist's surroundings can inspire their themes and styles. Have you ever visited an art museum? Yes, I visited the Louvre in Paris. It was amazing to see so many iconic pieces in person. What about you? I went to the Museum of Modern Art in New York. The variety of contemporary art was fascinating. What piece left a strong impression on you? Seeing the Mona Lisa up close was unforgettable. The detail in her expression is mesmerizing. Do you have a favorite piece from your visits? I loved a large mural by a street artist. The colors and social messages were powerful. How do you think art can impact society? Art can inspire change and provoke thought. It often reflects social issues and encourages dialogue. What role do you think art plays in your life? It's a source of inspiration and relaxation for me. I often turn to art when I need to unwind. Do you create art yourself? I dabble in sketching, but I'm more of an admirer. It's a great way to express feelings. What about you? Lesson 8, Weekend Plans Hey Anna, I'm really looking forward to our art workshop this weekend. I agreed. It's going to be a fun experience. What are you most excited about? 
I can't wait to try out new techniques. I heard there will be some great instructors. What about you? I'm excited to meet other artists and share ideas. It's always inspiring to connect with creative people. Have you ever attended a similar workshop? Yes, I went to one last year focused on watercolor painting. It was an eye-opening experience. What kind of art do you usually create? I mainly work with acrylics, but I'm eager to experiment with different mediums at the workshop. Do you have a favorite medium? I enjoy charcoal drawing. The contrast it creates is so striking. Are you planning to bring any specific supplies? I'll bring my acrylic paints and some brushes. I want to make the most of the opportunity. What about you? I'll bring my sketchbook and some charcoal. I want to capture the process. Do you think you'll try something completely new at the workshop? Definitely. I'm hoping to explore mixed media. It could open up new creative avenues for me. Have you set any goals for your art this year? I want to focus on improving my composition skills. It's an area I want to develop further. What's your goal? I'd like to create a series of paintings that tell a story. It's a challenging but exciting project. How do you stay motivated to create art? I follow other artists on social media for inspiration. It helps me see different perspectives and styles. What do you do for motivation? I often visit galleries or nature. Being surrounded by beauty reignites my creativity. Are you planning to invite anyone else to the workshop? I invited a couple of friends who are also interested in art. It'll be nice to share the experience with them. Are you bringing anyone along? Yes, I'm bringing my friend who's new to painting. I think she'll love it. What do you hope to learn from the workshop? I hope to gain new techniques and maybe some constructive feedback on my work. What about you? Lesson 9, Exploring Beliefs Hey Anna, I've been reflecting on beliefs and values lately. It's fascinating how they shape our lives. It really is. Some people discern divine attributes in their beliefs. What do you think about that? I believe it can provide comfort and guidance. However, it's interesting to see how different interpretations arise. Have you encountered any beliefs that surprised you? Yes, I've met people who find meaning in nature rather than traditional religious practices. It's refreshing. How do you think personal experiences influence beliefs? They play a huge role. Life experiences can challenge or reinforce what we believe. Have you had any experiences that changed your perspective? Absolutely. Traveling taught me to appreciate diverse cultures and beliefs. It opened my mind. What about you? I had a similar experience volunteering abroad. It made me realize how interconnected we all are. Do you think empathy is important in understanding different beliefs? Definitely. 
empathy helps us see the world through others' eyes. It fosters respect and understanding. How do you practice empathy in your daily life? I try to listen actively when people share their views. It helps me gain insight into their experiences. What's your approach? I ask open-ended questions to encourage deeper conversations. It often leads to meaningful discussions. Do you think it's essential to challenge beliefs sometimes? Yes, questioning beliefs can lead to growth and deeper understanding. It's important to remain open-minded. Have you ever changed your mind about something significant? I used to have a rigid view on certain social issues, but discussions with friends helped me see different sides. It was enlightening. What's one belief you hold strongly? I strongly believe in the power of kindness. Small acts can have a big impact. What about you? I believe in lifelong learning. There's always something new to discover, and it keeps life exciting. How do you think beliefs can shape communities? They create a sense of belonging and shared values, but they can also lead to division if misunderstood. How can we bridge those gaps? By promoting dialogue and understanding. It's vital to create spaces where people feel safe to express their beliefs. What's one thing you'd like to learn more about regarding beliefs? I'd love to explore the intersection of science and spirituality. It's a fascinating area with so many questions. Lesson 10, Culinary Favorites Hey Anna, I enjoy Mexican food the most. Oh, I love it too. The bold flavors are amazing. What's your favorite dish? Tacos are definitely at the top of my list. I love how versatile they are. What about you? I can't resist enchiladas. The combination of cheese and sauce is just perfect. Have you ever tried making them at home? I have. It was a bit challenging, but worth it. Homemade sauce makes a huge difference. Do you cook Mexican food often? I try to. I enjoy experimenting with different recipes. Have you discovered any new dishes recently? Yes, I recently tried making Chiles Rellenos. Stuffed peppers are delicious. Have you ever tried them? I have. They're so flavorful. What do you think is the key to making them great? I think using fresh ingredients is crucial. It really enhances the flavors. Do you have a secret ingredient you like to add? I love adding a squeeze of lime. It brightens up the dish. How do you usually spice up your meals? I enjoy using different types of chilies. They add a nice kick. Do you prefer spicy food? Yes, but I also enjoy balancing flavors. A little heat with some sweetness can be perfect. What's the spiciest thing you've ever eaten? I once tried a ghost pepper sauce. It was intense. How about you? I had a spicy curry that left me sweating. But it was so good. Do you think you could handle a spicier dish? 
I'd like to think so. It's all about finding the right balance. What's your go-to drink to pair with spicy food? I usually go for a refreshing agua fresca. It's the perfect way to cool down. What do you prefer? I love a good horchata. The creaminess complements the spice well. Do you ever dine out for Mexican food? Yes, I love exploring new restaurants. It's a great way to discover different regional dishes. Have you found any hidden gems? There's a small taco shop in my neighborhood that makes amazing street tacos. It's my favorite place. What's your favorite restaurant? I found a place that serves authentic mall sauce. It's rich and delicious. What do you think makes a restaurant stand out? Quality ingredients and a warm atmosphere are key. It makes the dining experience special. Lesson 11, Sharing Stories Hey Anna, I've been working on a short story lately. I'll be happy to share it with you. That sounds exciting. What's it about? It's a mystery involving a hidden treasure. I love creating suspense. How about you? Do you write too? I do. I enjoy writing poetry. It allows me to express my feelings in a unique way. What inspires your stories? I draw inspiration from everyday life and interesting people I meet. How do you find inspiration for your poems? Nature often inspires me. A beautiful sunset or a quiet moment can spark a poem. Have you ever written poetry? I've tried, but I find it challenging. I admire how you capture emotions in just a few lines. What's your favorite poem that you've written? I wrote one about the changing seasons. It reflects the beauty of transformation. Do you have a favorite story you've written? Yes, there's one about an old man who discovers a long-lost journal. It's about memories and regrets. What themes do you like to explore in your poetry? I often write about love and identity. They're universal experiences that resonate with many. Do you think storytelling can help us understand ourselves better? Absolutely. Writing allows us to reflect on our thoughts and experiences. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, like, and share our videos and channels.